exposure to the world hello everyone and in this video we will be learning about the most important topic of delf a2 that is imparfe most of us get confused between the two things first is parfe composé another is imparfe isn't it so first of all i'll tell you what is the basic difference between parfe composé and imparfe parfe composé we used first of all the formation that is avoir or etre verb with my passé si passé of the verbs yes and passé composé we use when my actions are already completed in the past but m parfait m parfait we used when we have to show about some habits or the things which is continuously going in the past like the imperfect or imperfect is a form of the past continuous tense and is used while describing events that have no clear beginning or end like for example i was calling my friend also imperfect is used in describing events that are habitual in the past like for example i used to call my friend every day it means it's a habit do you have any habits supposing yes so therefore in french we make use of imperfect to describe two things past state of the mind or being or the habitual past actions yes so now let's take the formation of imperfect so we know that passé composé as i mentioned earlier we make passé composé with avoir verb with participle passé and etre verb with my house verbs with same participle passé but in imparfait is a small difference yes and the difference is that we take the conjugation of no and we all know like for example we have parler verb so the conjugation of parler with no is no parlo and we will cut the o and s and i will be putting a i s a i s a i t i o n s i e z and a i n t so now let's see the example for example the first is my e r verb with my e r verb for example it is the monday par exemple le verb the monday the monday means to ask so it is no the mondon so i have cut o n s and i am putting a i s and my other endings let's see the pronunciations je the monday tu the monday il elle on the monday no the mondion vu the mondie il elle the monday yes i e n t will have the same pronunciation like i have a je tu il and l next come to with the i r verbs with i r verbs again i will be putting the conjugation of no and i will cut o n s for example finir the conjugation is no finiso for now let's see the conjugations in m parfait je finisse tu finisse il elle on finisse nous finissions vous finissiez il elle finisse yes i hope this is very easy right so let's come to the last group and that is the re group for example i'm taking the verb prendre which means to take the conjugation is no freno now let's see the conjugation in m parfait je freine tu freine il elle on freine nous freinions vous freiniez il elle freine yes so this was my conjugation and do you know the french is famous for what well french grammar is famous for the pronunciations homophones and the most important thing yes that
that is exceptions so here also we have a most important exception and that is the adverb but there is a good news we only have one <laughs> so let's see this exceptions the exception is adverb which means to be and it is for but obvious reason we have this exception otherwise the conjugation that we see in the present tense it is no som but we cannot use no som so we take the root et that is jete kyuete il el on ete nu zetion vu zetie il zete el zete so i hope this makes the clearance in the imperfect topic and i hope that you all will enjoy this video if you have any doubts so you can put in the comment section and you can please give your feedback in the end of the video you will be knowing about all the few all the examples which i have mentioned and also you will be knowing the list of the verbs that will help you in the conjugation in the description below you will be getting a small grammatical exercise as well i hope you will solve and do send me the answers Thank you. Bonjour, Nate.